right, Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world and he calls God, and his only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. Of course, those are the names of the Most High and His Son <coughs> in the Paleo Hebrew. All right. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Rule well and peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that's doing this work, all right? And, uh, you know, holding fast to faith to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, being diligent and cleaving on to Him, all right? You know, because, uh, you know, we that's all we got. We got Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai blessed us with the brotherhood. We have that, you know? <clears throat> but ultimately, it's just Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? We got this truth, all right? Um, I'm the brother of Bafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, all right, uh, Philadelphia, PA, all right, Babylon being America, all right, Babylon being, of course, a place of confusion, all right, which is nothing but a matter of confusion, all right, and this, uh, this uh, particular um, video and such is more so uh, just me venting, all right, through the, uh, in an open form type of setting, all right, you know, uh, GMS at work at the plantation, all right, you know, the, the two-thirds, they got to go, all right, simple as that, because, you know, they have no faith, they're going around, all right, going about doing whatever they want, all right, they never hearken on to the prophecy of Habashim al all right, which we clear up, of course, the confusion, all right, you know, through Habashim al who gave the word, all right, Yahweh Shai is the word He come in the volume of the book Alright In which You know Two thirds of our people They don't want to hear it And who can, gives a hell About the rest of the heathen You know They don't This 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 truth isn't for them So we don't even care You know Yeah we defend the, the gospel Yahweh Shai You know uh, You know When they come up uh, Come up against it But we don't even care about them D Thus we don't even care About these two thirds You know But um I'm gonna just get into Some precepts Alright I mean, I've been dealing with, you know, pure health, you know, constantly, you know, and uh, it's been, uh, it's been very, uh, you know, it's been testing me, but, you know, you would do the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, I'm shy, I have the strength to endure, you know, even with the two-thirds coming at me all hard, you know, every day. So this is Jeremiah 13 and 10, all right, um... I'm gonna go actually, you know what, I'm gonna start at uh, Jeremiah, uh, th yeah, 13 and 9, I'm gonna start at. Thus saith Yahweh, after this manner uh, will I mar the pride of Judah, alright, and the great pride of Jerusalem, alright, which we gonna go into that word for mar, alright, it's like here one moment, let's see, I might have to get it on my other phone, one second. Let me see, uh, give me a moment, 13, go to 9, I believe it means to destroy, but let me, let me go and check real quick just to be on it. Yeah, go, yeah, it means to destroy, all right? It means corrupt, go to ruin, decay. All right. And um, believe that the Hebrew word is shacha. You got a thaw right there, shachath, or something of that uh, pronunciation. It's like a uh, well, pronunciation, but <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to destroy the pride of Judah, all right, and the great pride of Jerusalem, all right, you know, he's going he gonna, to gonna take all of that away from the nation of Yahshua, all right, the pride, because two-thirds, they walking around, of course, very prideful, all right, they don't regard Yahweh Hashem Yahushai or nothing, you know, it's just ridiculous, you know, for the, the, the uh, hopeful elect, they'll be uh, going about, you know, uh, when we deal with these two thirds, they just they just don't they don't have any um, any sense of, of integrity. 
you know, no honesty, all right? You know, they conduct themselves uh, dishonestly, all right? They uh, conduct themselves with uh, just nothing but fo uh, the folly, all right? Foolishness, all right? Uh, this is verse 10, Jeremiah 13 and 10. It says, this evil people which refuse to hear my words, which, you know, they refuse to hear the words of Yahweh Shem Yashai. They refuse to, to hear the scriptures, all right? To hear the open rebuke of the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yashai when you're out on the highways and byways and when we're making these studio shows, you know? I mean, some some of, some of these two, a lot of these two-thirds, they got, um, you know, they got uh, prophets that are hopeful elect, you know, amongst them, all right? And they over there, they would give them the understanding of, of, of uh, how to force to live life and do, do things, all right? Thus, from the scriptures, all right, and they still go and do what they gonna do, you know, like going and eating pork and stuff, cooking up pork and abominations, and just leaving hot, filthy pots, you know, around and such, you know, and you know, you know that somebody, you know, first of all, ain't dealing with uh, any such abominations like that, all right, you know, you how about Shem Yashai have us kadash, all right, I mean, you know, holy and separate. You know, away from uh, them, them, them sorts of foods and such. All right, that defile the temple. All right, which are unclean for us. But the two thirds, they just want to go and do whatever they want to do. You tell them, uh, uh, oh, uh, like they ask the question all foolishly. All right, well, insincere, which is not sincerity. You know, um, asking, uh, oh, so what, 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 what is a clean bird or what is a, what is this? You know, and, and, and you know, you already you already been told what what is unclean with basic things, you know, like all right, pork and such. You know, you can't even get 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 that, you know. And then when we go and tell you that, you do you apply it? No. You niggas all y'all wanna do is go and, um to eat and stay sticking to them abominable foods in which you had got from slave time. Alright? You know, which is killing you, which is which is destroying you, okay? You know, that's why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh he gave, uh, he, 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 when, when you go into the curses, let me see if I could get it. In Deuteronomy 28, let me see if I could get it with the pestilence. You know, he gave, got all these diseases that's on you and such. All right. Y'all niggas don't want to listen, man. Y'all want to go aside from what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me get this real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 14. It says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other powers to serve them. All right? You know, you're not supposed to go against the word of what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the debarium. All right, the words of, of of what he has said in the scriptures that come up out of his mouth, which is given unto us the nation of Israel. All right, um, you know, in which uh, he he put the curses. Deuteronomy, uh, I'm gonna skip down. Yeah, well, verse 15, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And uh, I'm going to go down to uh, finding this uh, scripture that I want about the pestilence, you know, the different diseases, you know, we sub diabetes and all of that, you know. Let's see. Try to get it real quick. Give me a moment. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy. Um... 28 and 21 Yahweh shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whether thou goest to possess it all right you know and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh he has done that you know he has of course in, in to Deuteronomy 28 and 28 it says the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of, of the heart you know, you, you, most of y'all niggas, y'all niggas is crazy, you know, and you have mental disorders, all right, you know, because, you know, y'all refuse to hearken on the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and his word, you know, because y'all just want to continue to go off, all right, you know, cooking pork and, and, and um, and, um, you definitely knowing that nobody dealing with that, 
and, and leaving out. I mean, like y'all customs, y'all not even clean, you know? Y you know, just like how you don't clean up after yourselves, you know? It's just a reflection, all right? You niggas don't clean up after yourselves. You know, you don't want to get cleaned up by this word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, being baptized by this, this word, all right? Getting, uh, uh, what's that? Sanc sanctified. It's like if I pronounce it wrong, but, you know? Yahweh Hashem Yahshai purifying us with the word, all right? So, going back to Jeremiah 13, um, just read it over again. It says, this evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after gods to serve them and worship them shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. All right. Now, it's you niggas. You know, y'all just want to, uh, you two-thirds of the nation of Israel, of Yashallah, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, which go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, if you haven't uh, learned yet, right? You know, you are the Israelites, and these law statutes and commandments are written for, you, written for you, all right? And for you to do, all right? You know, these, this is our heritage. You know, this is what the so-called white man took away from us and which we're getting back. You know, the elect is getting back. Two-thirds of y'all, y'all ain't getting shit back right now, you know? Now, y'all going to have to be destroyed by, uh, you know, the different flags that Yahweh Shemesha is going to bring. All right. Pestilence, famine, you know, uh, you know, ultimately, the, uh, you know, the nuclear missiles and such. Y'all going to die in, in, in time of, of race wars and, and all of that, you know, because y'all, y'all, y'all just so wicked, you know, you know, crazy wicked. Um, let me see something. Let me go into something real quick. Um. I'm going to look into that word, imaginations. Uh, I believe it's uh, from this Hebrew word, if I'm pronouncing it correct, correctly, uh, it says, Sha Ra Ya Ra Wa Thought, if I'm not mistaken. The pronunciation, uh, it says, uh, for imagination, it means, uh, um, stubbornness, hardness, all right, lust, all right, uh, up, up, it got also obstinacy, all right, pronouncing it real wrong, <laughs> I mean bad, but, all right, so when you go into it, you go into lust, you know, your own, your own, you know, uh, perverse desires, all right? You know, that are outside the temple of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, let me go into that word for lust. Same word, yep, means same thing. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get this precept. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, gonna be Psalms 81 and 12. So I gave them up unto their own hearts which that's the, the Hebrew word lab, all right? Hearts lust. And they walked in their own counsels, all right? Which, you know, y'all walking after your own selves, you know? Yahabah Shem Yahshah, because, you know, you, you, you uh, two thirds of our people went off, you know? Yahabah Shem Yahshah, he just completely just, you know, he put y'all, uh, blinded y'all, you know? He blinded y'all, you know? Because he don't, he only wants to elect, all right? You know, he blind y'all from seeing this true. I mean, it's crazy that you're so blind that you can't see not to eat pork. And it's written right there in the scriptures not to eat and what and what and what not to do. And and even if you can't understand it, the prophet's out there to break it down for you to understand and make it plain upon tables. All right. And y'all still just go and do the same things over and over and over again. You know, and it's like, come on, like, that's that's just that's just. That's just stupid, you know. That's why uh, why he call it call um, you know um, our people. All right, you got the two thirds and such. They call them uh, what is it, Swatish or Sadish? All right, you know. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, Jeremiah four and twenty two for my people. For second, it says. 
for Jeremiah 4 and 22 for my people is foolish they have not known me they are saw as children and they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge all right you know and y'all don't have no knowledge to do good you two-thirds you know y'all just want to want to want to want to be wicked you know y'all want to follow the ye your father the devil you know the so-called white man you know you don't want to follow your how about shimmy out shot the, the the power of abraham isaac and jacob our forefathers you want to follow the so-called white man the heathen you want to be just like the so-called white man you want to eat pork you want to eat octopus you want to eat all type of abominations that your how about shimmy out shot said not to do okay you no, know, Lord said not to, you know, to, uh, to touch swine that is unclean. Let me see if I can get that. Um, this is uh, Leviticus 11 and 7. In the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cut. He is unclean for you. All right? To you, Slakia. You know? It's always unclean. It's not. It's not. It's not fit for us to eat those uh, abominations. Though you know, Yahweh Shem Yahshua has purpose for the for the swine. You know, to clean the earth and such. All right, it's not to be eating that. All right, you're not supposed to eat something that's gonna eat everything. All right, you can feed a pig a damn uh, a freaking hand, uh, a freaking hand. It'll eat it. It don't care. It don't give it. It don't. It ain't. It's not wavering. All right. You know, you niggas is just stupid, man. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all put that stuff in y'all body. We show you um, all the different parasites and worms that's in it. All right? You know, you niggas, y'all, that's why y'all y'all got all these, uh, y'all die and y'all have all of these different um, um, diseases and such. All right? These are diseases that, that cut our lives short, you know? Because we was raised on all of these cheap abominations. And that's what the, the so-called white man, you know, he he uh he he makes it easy for you niggas to do it. You know, five dollars for a pack of, of eight pork chops and you fry it up, you know? And and it is 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 detestable. It smells it's disgusting. Like what's wrong with y'all? Alright. Let me go into uh I uh, appreciate it. Go to, uh, this is Isaiah 30 and 9. Let me get it real quick. My actual sword. Stop you one moment. Isaiah 30, right? And, and 9. It reads that this rebellious people lot lying children children that will not hear the law of Yahweh okay and y'all won't hear the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai. okay you won't hear the, the law all right which we we I just gave you the law on the on the pork and and and, and the province we out here we man, we pushing this word strong on for you to Strong on the highways and hedges and you niggas just walk past it and just don't even click it or whatever You know whatever my way you just want to stay into this world and that's why you're gonna die in this world You gonna die in your own folly. All right, you gonna die in all of your wickedness. Okay It goes on to verse uh, 10 Jeremiah 30 and 10 which say on say to the seers the seers are the prophets see not and uh, to the prophets, uh, sorry, let me read it from the top. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. You know, so you, you just want us to, 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 to spew out falsehoods and such like that, like Christianity does, you know, the false Christianity, all right? You know, because they're not followers of the Hamashiach and of Yahweh Shai. All right, which is that's the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. You know, they're fathers after their own commandments of men. And they offer these other false gods. All right, Cesare Borgia, so-called white man. You know, yeah, a lot of you niggas is in a lot of bullshit. All right, but y'all y'all after, you know, y'all father the devil, you know. You're called white man. You have gone in his way and you want to stay in his way. All right. 
it says uh get verse 11 get you out of the way turn aside out of the path cause the Kodash Achad, our holy one of Yasha Allah to cease from before us all right and it reads on wherefore thus said the holy one of Israel because ye despised his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stare stay there on therefore this iniquity shall be to you as the breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall all right and it goes on it says whose breaking cometh suddenly at a instant all right and you know about Shemel Shai? he's gonna break y'all a bits all right y'all gonna die you know some some horrible deaths all right y'all gonna die all right for all of your iniquity all right you know all your wickedness you know it's gonna be and it's gonna be nice we're not gonna care you know the, 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 you know because we gonna know you know uh that you know you you, you just was hard-headed all right this is uh ezekiel 18 and 26 when a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them for his iniquity that he has done shall he die uh, goes on uh, to verse 27 again when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful and right he shall save his soul alive you know so you know uh, you know a righteous man he has to of course you know um he's not supposed to turn his back and go into the ways of wickedness he's of course supposed to stay on that righteous path all right you know, on that straight path, you know, you know, no, not on, of course, uh, not on a broad path, you know, because that's going to lead to destruction. All right. You know, I'm going to read verse 27 again. It says, again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he had committed. All right. So when you turn away from your wickedness that, you know, like eating pork and uh, doing all the different um Things that's outside of how about you shy committing sins, all right? Transgressing the law, you know, which we read the laws. It says, endureth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive, you know? Because you you gonna get right with your how about Shimon Shai. Alright? You know? So um it says in verse 28, because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed. He surely, he's like it says, he shall surely live and he shall not die. Okay. And it goes on and it says, yet saith the house of Yasha Allah of Israel, you need your Latin and the Americans, the way of Yahweh is not equal of the house of Israel are not my ways equal, are not your ways unequal. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Yashallah of Israel, everyone according to his ways. L said Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It says Yahweh power, right? The Lord God. It says, Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Okay? So you niggas need to turn away from it. Simple as that. All right? Stop being the way y'all being, man. You know, because y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai going to judge you. You know, and ultimately, you know, two-thirds are uh, already, um, they've been predestined. All right? Predestined. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai already set up for them to be the wicked. All right? You know, ungodly. And they're going to die on this side. And then you got uh, the... the, the uh, 144 and the uh, one third, rest of the one third, numeral multitude of the uh, men, women, and children of believers in Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know, they will be, of course, judged righteous, all right? Because ultimately they're going to repent. They're going to return on to their power. All right, they're going to return to the lost ass commandments and stop living as these heathens and stop being uh, like the Gentiles, you know, natural Gentiles, all right? Meaning in other nations, all right? It says, um, 
It says, verse 31, I'm going to end it off at 32, just finish it off. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart, all right, which is a, a, a law, all right, which is a spirit, and a new spirit, all right, our mind, slacky, when you go into it, uh, it's talking about your mind, your lab. Uh, it says, for why will ye die, O house of Yasha? I'll let us a question. And it says, for I have no pleasure in death of him that dieth, saith uh, Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, turn yourselves and, ye, and live ye. All right. So Yahweh Bashem Yasha, he wants y'all to, you know, he want, he want us to, of course, flee from our iniquity. You know, to flee from our multitudes of sins and such and and, 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 and return on to him. All right. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, so this was a, another edition of uh, Great Millstone. Um, uh, you would say uh, on the plantation, GMS at work. All right. You know, I'm catching hell and I'm going to uh, speak on you two thirds, you know, because I ain't get to do so um, yesterday. You know, or really in, in the, you would say in the eve. All right. It's the same day. But, um, you know, I woke up and I had to, you know, do this. You know, you two dares will be judged. You know, you rebellious and y'all gonna, y'all gonna get put to death. All right. With that, you know, if you, you can hear this and you, you sincerely want to return to your power, you better just do it. You know, put not away, but put not off coming to serve you. How about Shimei Al Shai? All right. With that, so I'm gonna say, uh, Burka Day Hell, Burka Day Al Shai, Burka Day Hell by Shimei Al Shai. All praise the Most High and the Son. Bless him. All right. And Shalom to all the sincere Akim, double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone. Give me, of course, this truth, really to push it. All right, with that, Shalom.